in a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. So what we did was we added an eminent speaker, the Texas Heat. Uh, got that from McBride Loudspeaker in Ontario, Waterloo, Ontario. Found that one on eBay. Uh, it was about $75. A little bit less shrill sounding than I find the stout Fender speaker. For the tubes we got a from Euro Tubes ordered that right from their site. I got the Hot Rod Deluxe Blues option number one, which has a whole bunch of JJ tubes. A uh, really nice set. A little bit quieter, which means typically you can turn the amp up just a little bit more and get more action out of the tubes. A little bit warmer sounding. Uh, hopefully that came through on the, the uh, video. We recorded it using an SM57. You may have noticed that I had the bass turned down a little bit and the, the mids and treble up just a hair. That was to keep the neck pickup a little bit more lively sounding, not as floppy sounding or flabby sounding as when you turn up the bass on that. And then I just turned down the tone on the, uh, on the bridge pickup when I go to that. We went through the two settings and it seemed to work out pretty well. I didn't show you replacing the tubes or biasing the tubes, anything like that. Uh, there's lots of instruction on YouTube on how to do that stuff. Um, there's a really good one by Ear Candy. Look for his uh, video on doing biasing of your tubes. Lots of good advice in there. I didn't get any shocks. I followed his advice on what not to do and that's really important. So overall, I, I think I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. We'll be waiting to see how the, uh, the sound improves as the speaker and the tube sort of burn in and get a little bit of life to them. So thank you for watching. Take care.